but naturally I haven't managed to catch the big gust. As soon as you get your camera out, it all goes calm. But there's some big old gusts coming through and uh, forecast, yeah, there's a bit of a puff. Forecast 25, 26 knots, I think. Uh, average, of course, gusts would be on top of that, a bit above that. Uh, but he's coming from a good direction, he's coming over the dock, so um, we're all quite safe here, I do declare, I do believe. Uh, this, last night he was coming through the gap, which was less comfy, but now there's a gust. But now I say he's coming over the, there's a spit of land comes out here, he's coming over that, and it's really all quite safe spot to be for this and the forecast is that it will continue to come around so it'll come more and more over the marina and uh, where I am here should be all perfectly safe. Hey all. Well those of you who watch regularly will know that I've been uh, conducting sea trials, basically testing the boat that I spent some six years building. And uh, I went up to Denmark for basically two months of sailing, just over two months of sailing, sail around a bit, live aboard and, and test it out and find what I still need to do. Um, and uh, that time in Denmark can be pretty much split into two, two sort of bits the first month or so was, was light winds and we did quite a lot of light wind sailing and then uh, that's the second month or at least the last three weeks or so of it was much much stronger winds and spent a fair bit of time uh, hunkering down out of it and waiting for some weather windows and that's pretty much what was going on there. I'm in Fordingborg, um, not right now but in the video there I'm in Fordingborg which, which may or may not be pronounced like that really. Uh, which is on the very, very south of the Danish island of Zealand, which is the island with Copenhagen on it. Um, and the reason I'd headed up there, well, there were two reasons why I headed up there. One was Elizabeth, who'd been sailing with me the whole time, my daughter. She was leaving to go back to Germany. And the second one was I wanted to go up and visit Frederick. Now, Frederick, I'd visited a couple of times before. Uh, at least one video I showed some of the details of his boat. He's building a boat, it's called a Hogfish, designed by Chris Morjohn. Um, and it's a 34 foot, or at least nominally, a 34 foot uh, plywood sailboat. It will also be junk rigged. But it's really very different to, to the way I built mine, to the Benford Dory that I built and the, and the design and construction method of that. So it's a hard chined, flat bottom. It doesn't have a keel. It has a drop board, a centre board, a, a dagger board whatever you used to call it. And the ballast is in the bottom of the actual hull. Um, it's plywood and then it's glassed over with polyester and, uh, and several layers of cloth or mat, mat and cloth I believe. Frederick has avoided the problem that the old polyester clad plywood boats had, that the, the polyester doesn't really adhere to the plywood very well and some years later often can be seen peeling off. He's avoided that by using bronze ring nails, which I also used, you may remember. Bronze, but clearly smaller bronze ring nails. And he's nailed the cloth or, or the mat, I think it was the mat, I believe, uh, to the plywood. So he's got this mechanical bond as well between the glass and the ply. Um, he, like me, has made a couple of design changes. Um, I think he consults with a designer, Chris Morjohn, quite often. Uh, and it's a very, very interesting boat. I think, um, I say 34 foot nominally, but I think the finished length overall with the rudder and whatever uh, will be a bit over that, probably significantly over that from what I understand. But I say, fascinating boat. It's quite a lot bigger than mine. It feels a lot bigger than mine. I went up there, as I say, went up there, visited him. He was very, very hospitable, as, as always. Lovely guy. And uh, had a look around the boat. Uh, down below, there are no lights. So the, the bit that's shot down below is a bit dark. But um, hopefully you'll get an idea of the state of the build so far and, and uh, see what's going on there. 
hands if, if my hair is okay. <laughs> yeah, it looks lovely. <laughs> so yeah, this is this is uh, fair, and uh, just need to do some small stuff. But everything is yeah, it's nice beautiful. and fair. You need to fair the holes and fair the po portholes here. Yeah, make finish that better off. But the the, the rough the first yeah. rough one is nice. And uh, yeah, I'm very I'm very happy with the results. You fare it really well, really well. This is well, the transom in. The transom, yeah. Well, it's going to be like two feet out. And the rudder comes out there, yeah. And it will be able to. And this, this is like a swim platform. What's its well, purpose? Well, no, it's it's uh, basically it's a protection for the rudder. Yeah. And you get this this extra sort of protection for the rudder. Yeah. And it's easy to get on board. Yeah. And it looks a lot prettier. Yeah. Like this instead of a straight, yeah, straight yeah. one going yeah. up and down. Yeah, it does, no doubt. It's got a lot of functions, basically. It's thickness, what is yeah, that? Is well, an inch and a half? What is well, it? Yeah, 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 it is. But probably a little bit more with all the glass. Yeah, but yeah. say, all the drawings, it's only uh, one inch, right, right? Right. But I think, okay, I like this if it's more sturdy. So yeah, I yeah. just put, I had this extra foam in, so I just put the foam on. Right. Right? Yeah, yeah. So I had this, 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 this extra foam, it's weighing nothing. Yeah, and it just keeps a lot of extra strength. And yeah. classing in these uh, combings, three layers right. of glass so this, far. This is lazarette, basically. Yeah, lazarette. Thing. That's all. And this is your outboard well. This is my outboard well. This and there's the, out the outboard. This is in the, the outboard well. Look. Yeah, the yeah. outboard. And the bracket is back to the to the to my uh, mm. metal guy because mm. he, he, we have to uh, do a little bit of work on it. Yeah. And the idea is to have a. Uh, a piece here mm -hmm. with scrubbers in it that I can lift up yeah. and, and make another top head sort of right. a hatch here yeah. that I can lift off. Yeah. And then I have lots of air going into the and the mm -hmm. cockpit will drain in this hole. Yeah. And there will be one or two holes right. with, so, the, with, the, with the So here is the cockpit. Yeah. Yeah. And then the well behind it. Yes. Gotcha. That's the idea. And all this pink that we're seeing, this is foam, this is foam. under so and, fiberglass and foam. So underneath the foam is 12 mils of okume, mm -hmm. uh, kaboon, yeah. and 40 mils of foam on top of that, and then three layers of glass on top of yeah. that. Yeah. And, and again, really like solid. here, it's the same thing I did here. I just put, it, I had this extra foam, just I put it on, so yeah. I had this more sturdy yeah. Yeah. thing. I love the crown of the deck. It's, crown is a, big, it's a big. It's a big crown. If you're it walking is. around, it's in Jesus Christ. It's, <laughs> it's big. <laughs> but then again, if you have these 15 degrees, because the angle over there yeah. is 15 degrees. Yeah. The angle up forward is only 10 degrees. Is it? Yeah. See, I can see the twist in that. Yeah. 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 So I, I'm, I'm, I'm making the next two. Uh, stanchion feet right, yeah, with those. different angles, and the other three they uh, they I can, right, they're workable like making that. those yeah individually basically yeah yeah, yeah. those those C things that are laid up on the deck those are going to be the feet for the stanchions yeah, yeah so we'll, we'll have a look at them later so the slot up in the deck is where the dagger board so that when it's up it sticks out it sticks like forty centimeters up over the deck it? yeah. And when it's uh, all the way down, well, yeah, well okay. The, the last 40 centimeters that will go up over yeah. there. Yeah. When it's all the way up. Yeah. Yeah. And so the mask goes through the forward deck. Oh, yeah. yeah. We'll have a look over there. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do yeah. that. Form follows function. Absolutely. And she's, she's bloody strong. She's strong. She's solid. You've done a great job of that. Really, really good. It's so fair. And this is one of my favorite design features already. Uh, my anchor well. Yeah. This is a, I got the, there's a hatch here. That I, the hatch is going there, oh, right? It's a big hatch, man. Well, yeah, this is this is the hatch. Yeah, yeah. It's a big yeah. hatch. It's like 60... 60 62, 62. Mm -hmm. <gasps> but, um, so this is the anchor well. So when you're working on yeah. the anchor gear, then you got great space and I think I'm just gonna make a box here have, have my make a sort of a bracket here that my uh, my winch will drop yeah. the chain yeah. right right into a box that into I'm making box. here. Yeah, I, like I can have box. lines here you know and sure. I can make put an extra piece in here you can pop up with like a fishing like a fishing boat you can put yeah. that stuff right there. This is the extra okay. material for the yeah for, as you can see this is center line is here. Yeah? 
So the daggerboard is off center. Is off center. Line. Yeah. yeah. That's because the interior works better that mm -hmm. way. But the mast is going to be even more off center. You're going to put the mast off center. Yeah, but it doesn't really matter. No, it doesn't really. The, drop, no. the the sail will be on the yeah on the port hangs, side. Hangs on one side anyhow. So the sail will be more or less on the center line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. these are those. Good. Uh, yeah, the feet for the, the stanchions. Feet for the stanchions. They're solid, aren't they? Watch it. It's, uh, so I've just got to shape these. Yeah. Like this is my. This is my. Uh, yeah, gotcha. I'm just trying. This is this is this this is not a good one, but I'm just going to try how it, mm. how it looks. The thing is, if you how many layers of glass have you got in that? Uh, Sixteen. Yeah. So uh, eight layers of mat and seven layers of uh, eight layers of, yeah. of cloth. Yeah. And it's just rock solid. Yes, perfect. And what I'm going to do is glue these pieces down to the deck bolt them through the deck as well and then glass over the bolts so it's going to be absolutely yeah leak yeah proof yes right and the thing is if you when you make something in a mold the polyester just sh shrinks so the angle i got here is not quite right but it uh -huh. doesn't really matter that much because this one is the most important yeah um, and then i can just yeah. Play with it and find the right angle. Yeah. And then, because this is going to be uh, horizontal, mm. uh, mm. vertical, straight, mm. straight up and down. Yeah. So I can just clamp this into a, a drill machine. Yeah. And then I can just drill my hole through here. So you stand Put the right PVC right. pipe in here. Yeah. And then put my uh, one inch solid stock alu mm -hmm. aluminum yeah. through here. Yeah. Right? Yeah. That's the idea. Yeah. Good. And for the uh, for the rudder, I will be using uh, stainless steel. Stainless, but yeah. for the for the for the stanchions, yeah. I think one inch. Uh, yeah. Uh, solid stock. Yeah. It's gonna be nice. Yeah. Now, Tony, you tell me what you think about this deck when you go around like this. And what do you what do you what do you think? You're thumping it far harder than you ever will. Um, I think it's fine, absolutely fine. I don't notice any flex at all. Good. <laughs> <laughs> In fact, uh, here's my favorite piece of kit oh, wow. so far. That is a beauty, isn't it? This is made by my friend in England. <coughs> oh, that is beautiful. Look at that. Wow. It's going to be something like that. So this is uh, yeah. good. Eh? Beautiful. It's beautiful, eh? Yeah. Funny Humphrey enough, Holland. Was, Humphrey Holland made it for me. In, uh, good man. And there's two pieces glued two to Two pieces so? of, uh, of ash. Ash. I was, and I was looking at ash wood online yesterday. Yeah. It's just a beauty. It certainly is. And it was the same uh, same kind of tiller that he had on his Wilo. Yeah. And I was, I think this is a great tiller. That's uh, 10 mils of Okume. There's so much crown in it, so I, I, I went with, with 10. And on the aft deck, there's not that much crown in it, mm -hmm. so I went with 12. Right, and that turned out quite nice. And everything, everywhere here, there's just uh, plywood because the winches is going are going to be yeah. here. Yeah. So and here, the, there's a lot of here. There's is an extra layer of glass. Yeah. And there, and everywhere else is foam, glassed over foam, is it? Yeah, with three layers of glass over the foam, and yeah. then the four layers of glass over the over the wood. Yeah. Yeah, it's impressive. It's impressive. It's come down below. It's a bit dark now. It's a bit dark. But uh, here in the, in the cockpit, also for ventilation maybe, because right. I got this aft bunk, uh, the four ships, double bunk this way, yeah. or you can lay this way, right. because this is where the navigation table is going to be. Right. So you got also the possibility of going that way. Yeah. And this is the, the cockpit well. Yeah. The framing under the deck, it's all very solid. It is, it's all really solid. It really is. For the for the ballast. Yeah. 
And I made it a little bit too big if I want to have more ballast than I have the space for it. Otherwise, I just fill it up with wood and then screw right. it down. So it's going to be filled with lead, basically speaking. Yeah. In there. And you just put it in in chunks loose, basically. Yeah. Cockpit area. Then we've got the companionway and the raised deck, full raised deck, like mine. And a forward deck with a anchor well forward of that. She's yeah. big, 34 foot, but enormously roomy, isn't it? Really, a lot of space for yeah. 34 footer. Yeah. 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 Uh, so these are the forms for the stanchion bases. For the stanchion bases, right. So this one, this has got different angles. Mm -hmm for the two last ones. This was the first one. Three first ones. Yeah. So I put in a lot of glass. And then you and lay up the glass inside there. Lay up the glass inside because all the glass is cut up now. So I got enough glass to lay, lay it all up. It's like two, three. And what are you using as a release agent? Well, the release agent is this tape. It's just plastic tape. So good thing about Denmark is a lot of shipbuilding going on here, man. <laughs> I, 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 I talk to my pals. I say, what do you use? I say, we don't use this here. Works like a charm. Uh, and that's just a roll of sticky back plastic tape. Yeah, it's you bit, put it on. It's, it's like that packing tape. Yeah, but it's a little, bit, a little bit different. Then you just slide okay. it on. Yeah, yeah. It's great. Yeah. It works. <laughs> because I just, uh, when I was done with this, I took the screws out. Yeah. And the screwdriver and pop, pop. But then the fiberglass just changes form a little bit, you know. It springs a little it springs, bit. It springs, springs, springs more inward. Uh -huh. So now I see how this one goes. Have you made that one deliberately a bit wider to, to well, I, compensate? I, I put this, this the, I, I put the top, uh, the top angle and give it another two degrees. Yeah. Instead of one degrees, now it's two and a half. Yeah. See how that one pops out. If this one is okay, then I know for the, I want, I want to make my rubber gudgeons, gudgeons also of this. So then I know the exact angle probably mm. by that point. Yeah, yeah. By, by the time you finish your election. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's the way it is. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Smelly, stinky. This is a boat shed. Yes. <laughs> of course it's smelly and stinky. That's <laughs> what we do to ourselves. It's a long foredeck. There's the anchor well. Forward hatch. She's big. 34 foot on deck. She's big. 45. 60 foot mast. Yeah, and what are the. But I, I will chop the first uh, five and a half meters off, so I'll need a 40 foot, a 43 foot mast. Yeah, yeah. And the aluminium poles? Well, they are laid down uh, off the shelf, but uh, I just got lucky, you know? Yeah. But they're different meters, six meters, something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Then I can use an extra piece, ram it up inside. Okay. If I want to have more strength yeah. at the partners. Yeah. Then I can use maybe the top part as broken. Mm -hmm. I don't know. So yeah. Anybody interested in uh, some uh, car system? Oh, Dr. Frederick. <laughs> it's for sale. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Not going to need it. <laughs> no. sound effect on the video there so it's big. Let's bring it down below. I trust you can hear that. It's 
by the gale. Yeah, it's supposed to get stronger through to about two o'clock tonight. It's gonna go up like 30 knots or something, uh, plus gusts on top of that, of course, that's the average wind, wind strength. And then uh, should calm down. And tomorrow it's supposed to be actually reasonable. So we look forward to that. And I'm hoping to move tomorrow, get going. Fingers crossed. Well, as I said, I was hoping to leave the next day. Will I or will I not? Oh, what a cliffhanger. Find out next week. Be sure to tune in. Massive thank you from me to Frederick for his hospitality Hospitality, and uh, the tour of the boat. Is a, I love the boat he's building. It's, it's very, very interesting. It's very roomy, very roomy. A lot of head room in there, a lot of... Um, volume, a lot of volume. Up forward, what you didn't see is up forward, he's got a big double berth in the fore peak. Um, in midships, there's a sort of a saloon area down one side, down the port side. Then you've got the centerboard box and the galley area on the starboard side. And after that, he's got another uh, double berth below the, the cockpit, aft deck cockpit area. So a lot of room down below different sort of layout to mine again so you know I say even though it's hard try and plywood junk rig a lot of similarities there's also an awful lot of difference there thank you for watching um, massive thank you goes out of, as ever to the lovely people who support us on Patreon, Patreon and via PayPal um, you guys make these videos possible I couldn't do it without you if you'd like to support the video making, uh, there are links to the Patreon and to the paypal.me PayPal .me, in the video description. Obviously, there is an awful lot of time and effort goes into, into filming and editing these, so your support would be appreciated. See you next time. Bye.